Hey guys, how's it going? White Trash FPV here. And uh, I'm here to talk to you guys today a little bit about Beta Flight and uh, one of my, my Facebook groups here in my local area have had presented an issue last night that I actually thought was a really great way to make a kind of a tutorial video. So if you're having flyaway issues or you quite possibly just might have screwed something up and say you got a beta beta fpv you got a happy model whatever you got to bind and fly and you yes you made a few tweaks a few which happened to me may, may maybe been a mistake and it's causing some issues with with you guys um, this tutorial hopefully does help and this is all about how to recover that back to factory I guess as you will uh, default settings and hopefully that helps so let's go ahead and take a look at that we're gonna pop over to say I'm gonna go over to, to another page here or uh, excuse me another screen here in a minute and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that and we're gonna go ahead and talk about a little bit about the hex and then we're gonna go into how to how to reprogram your drone back into it via CLI. So stay tuned. And as Barbell says, you're gonna learn something today. All right, so don't mind the screen. So if you have a beta FPV, you're looking at your drone. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop over to one of the drones I have here. So say I have the Meteor 65, and yes, I do have the ELRS uh, 2.4 gig gigahertz I guess it is um, model I am FAM of that so what you want to do is you want to continue to scroll until you get to the bottom and you will find something similar to say like the FAQ where you're gonna see something like download the, the flight controller firmware and CLI dump file for it go ahead and you know take a look at that and it's gonna give you usually the list especially if it has more you know it, it has a variety of different um configurations for your your tether to your controller here like we got one here for uh fr sky we got one here for the lrs which so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that um, you're gonna see it's the basic firmware it's gonna be 4.3 make sure you're on that and um yeah Gonna say stuff like no need to flash configuration, including configuration file. Um, you can go ahead and download this and see what it'll do. I personally, I, I like to look. Me personally, I like to look at the text files, so I will go ahead and download that. I could just did, as you can probably see, I already have at least one of them because I've done this before. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and open it, and you're gonna look at this, and. So what you're actually looking at is all the information you're going to need. It's going to give you your auxiliaries, your serial, going to change the name for you, the, the board name, the manufacturer, your VTX tables, and all your important information here, your gyro, everything, all your stuff, all your OSD, you name it. And then it's going to have the default profile, profiles, excuse me which nine tenths of them have actually nothing. And right here at the bottom is your best save here, is your save configuration, which it's gonna do absolutely nothing. Now that I'm actually going to be retiring the Meteor 65, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I hit Control A on PC, however you select all. Um, you can even do it here, select all, copy. And you're gonna go ahead and head over here to Beta FPV, and you're going to plug in your drone. You're going to hit connect or connect, or it should hopefully auto connect. And inside this, the, te the tabs here, you got all these special ones. Now you're going to go ahead and hit CLI. It's going to come up with this. You wait till it says building autocomplete cache done, and then you're going to come down here and you're going to hit. Control V is what I like to do, which is paste, or select the all and right click, 
paste, enter. And then you're going to let it do its thing for a minute. And by the end, it'll restart itself. Bam. You are back to factory reset. Now, one of the other things you might want to do is another is going to be for another video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a good day. And um, catch you on the flip side.